Hello again, or should I say hello for the first time, because this is the first ever Deep in Hub weekly recap coming to you, recapping the week of September 16th through the 22nd, specifically recapping what we covered in our Deep in Hub newsletter, the recent issue number 23, like MJ, if you don't know what I'm talking about, it doesn't matter. Anyway, as you can see, I'm very European. Welcome to the radio. Just sitting here on a lovely terrace in Lisbon. Some would say kind of the headquarters of Deep and Hub. It's not technically our administrative headquarters, but it's where a lot of us uh, work from sometimes. And uh, it's a big, very cool espresso. Fantastic. Uh. So this is the recap of the week of September 16th through the 22nd, specifically recapping our newsletter, which now come out every week, the Deepin Hub newsletter, Deepin's largest project agnostic neutral newsletter out there. Uh, this is specifically recapping issue 23, and we're going to start doing these every week. So just in case you missed it, you can catch a synopsis in video format from yours truly, Michael, head of growth at Hotspotty every week. So in this issue, we're covering three leading deepen projects that are basically taking the charge on the issue of online privacy. And we're going to cover why that's such a relevant topic in a moment. But first, is it, is it a plane? Is it? No, it's not. But if it was a plane, you could track it with this project, the sponsor of this episode of the Deepin Hub newsletter, Wingbits. What is Wingbits? Well, it's a freaking cool Deepin Hub, Deepin Hub, Deepin project that you probably haven't heard about. But if you have, you're probably excited. And if you haven't, you should freaking hear about it. And I'm about to tell you. Wingbits, what do they do? Well, guess what? Did you know that when a plane is outside of about 50 kilometers, give or take, of an airport, the air traffic control system actually has to rely on a network of volunteers on the ground who are tracking plane data using a special protocol called ADSB. Yeah, volunteers, man. And okay, we're nerds at Deep and Up, but we're nerds that like to get paid, bro. So if you're doing this and not getting paid, maybe it's time to change that. And Wingbits is allowing you to do so, building a worldwide network of real-time plane data to allow everyone to be incentivized and awarded their tokens for bringing you key data around delays in plane flights, safety, everything else you need so that airlines don't pay too much money renting excess time at the gate so that passengers don't miss their flights and that they can essentially save tens of billions of dollars a year for airlines, airports, and passengers. All right, so this is a very real problem that in as long as, or as much as I'm aware of, no other Deepin project is tackling yet. So check out Wingbits, get that real-time flight data. Now, what's something else that comes from the sky? No, not dogs. Sun. Solar freaking energy, man. What are you doing? Are you harvesting the sun? Probably not, bro. But you know who is? Our cream. Arcrane, which is, what is their slogan now? Ha! Huh. Harnessing renewable energy to regenerate the earth. That's what they're doing. Have you heard of DARS? Distributed Energy Resources. Basically, it's virtual power plants. Little power sources generating energy closer to the actual consumption source that can be transmitted over low voltage transmission lines, making the whole system very interesting and resilient to help balance out the grid and bring on more clean and sustainable energy into our highly outdated and dirty power systems around the world. Uh, now, how are they doing that? Primarily starting with solar. Don't own a solar panel? How do you sleep at night? Yeah, me either. But you don't have to because they have a remote mining solution set up where you can actually take remote ownership of a solar panel and get paid in tokens for it. On top of that, they even have a program to help offset Bitcoin emissions. So learn all about being a DGEN, which in our green world, stands for Decentralized Generative Energy Network. You thought you were DGEN, bro. <laughs> Not even harnessing this. But our green is. So check out our green. Why am I saying this? Because they were our featured blog posts of this issue, which means that our team did a deep dive, nearly 2,500 word research piece on the project, outlining the team, the problem, the solution, the tokenomics, some of the challenges they're facing, so that you can read up on it and then decide for yourself if you're interested in getting involved. So check that out. That was our featured blog of this issue. Now, on to the feature. Three deepen projects that are leading the charge for online privacy. 
Now, why are we talking about this? Because, in case you were living under a rock, Pavel Durov, who's the founder and CEO of Telegram, was arrested about one month ago from today, I think it was around the 25th of August, when he landed in France. He got detained. Um, they're charging him with all kinds of stuff, saying, you know, because of his platform, uh, he's conspiring with terrorists, conspiracy theories, drug traffic, et cetera, et cetera. So basically a lot of really hardcore nefarious stuff. Now, the question is, why him? Because he has a highly encrypted messaging platform? That's where things get interesting. Of course, our stance here at Deep and Hub is, hey, if you're a construction company building a road and somebody gets drunk and drives recklessly and crashes, you don't go after the CEO of the construction company who built the road. You go after the driver, right? But of course, you do have to have safety protocols. You do have to make sure that the cement was laid correctly and you have barriers on the, for, the, for the wall, right? But where are those lines drawn? That's where things get inter interesting. You know, what is the role of the regulator? What is the role of the company? No matter where you stand on the stance, if you're just a normal average Jane and Joe, you're probably just thinking, hey, man, I just don't want people snooping into all my private data. Like, if it's late at night and I'm having that chat with my wife about that kinky thing I want to try out, and it's 2 in the morning and I'm offline, and then it pops up as an ad in my Instagram feed the next day, that's creepy, man. Well, maybe that hasn't happened to you, but it could. And it could with normal messaging apps because for some reason that seems to be happening with things like WhatsApp and Instagram, but it won't happen with a company called Session. So Session is the first up on our list of these three Deepin projects leading the charge for privacy. What are they? They're essentially Signal or Telegram on steroids. <laughs> So hyper-encrypted messaging app that basically routes all messages in a BitTorrent-style fashion across a distributed network of nodes whose operators are incentivized through tokens to run those nodes. And guess what? Those messages only hover in the magical internet ether sphere for 14 days. What is that? 14 days. That's right. So you remember that drunk text you sent to that girl and you were like, oh, shit. Guess what? It's gone. <laughs> 14 days, man. Two weeks. So just keep sending drunk texts, but you know, but do so with a, a, a sense of uh, uh, respect and caution, please. Maybe just don't send them, but in 14 days, they're gone anyway. <laughs> Pretty cool. Session. If you want to read more on Session, inside of our newsletter, you can click the links to go to the full article. So again, we wrote a super detailed, very cool 2,003, 400, give or take word piece on these three projects and what they're doing beyond messaging, we have a solution that's really appropriate for everyone, or should I say anyone, the anyone protocol. Anyone, formerly known as ATOR, is basically building the world's online privacy layer using the onion routing protocol known as TOR, um, which basically takes your messages through multiple layers like an onion of nodes, making it hyper encrypted, very hard to identify the original source. Um, and they're doing so in a way that creates a global universal privacy layer that anyone can build on with easy access through things like their SDKs that allows other deepen projects, which they're already doing, to build solutions that have privacy baked into them. So it's essentially an embedded feature as the default instead of being some sort of optional thing that takes forever to configure and slows down your entire experience. So imagine that. Anyone tokens, you can find them. Um, you can do your own research, but that project's been growing like crazy the past year or so. Um, they also spoke at the Deep and Revolution event, which we're going to talk about at the end. People loved it. So go ahead, check out anyone. I get so excited. I joke. <clears throat> oh, no, we're not drinking anymore. That cold espresso. Jesus Christ. Moving right along. Accurate. Now, let's get even bigger. Let's go beyond VPNs. Let's go beyond messaging. Let's go into the core infrastructure that basically keeps the modern infrared in who can talk these days? Internet running, which is the cloud. So when you think about the cloud, you think about these giant companies like Amazon, AWS, Microsoft, Azure. And guess what? Yeah, the solution works. But if you get booted off, you're booted off. Do you have control over that data? No. Do you even know how they're using it? No. Do you know what would happen if they got hacked or if somebody asked for it? I'd probably just go away and everything you'd be doing would be exposed. Unless there was a privacy first cloud, a decentralized serverless cloud which is exactly what Accurest is building. That's right. And you can make some sweet ACU tokens for taking part in it. But how do you do that? You have to have access to a data center? 
You have to have a rack of servers? No, actually, no. No, you don't. All you need is an Android phone. Even an old, crappy Android phone will do. You can even chain multiple Android phones together to create your own little mini server for compute and storage resources to take part and become a node in this decentralized privacy-first cloud network known as Acurus. So get out those old Android phones, make some rewards, and take part in the privacy revolution. So you can find out much more about all three of those projects by reading the full-length deep dive article we did, which we linked to in the newsletter. Acuris also spoke at the Deepen Revolution. Uh, it was Christian Killer, which is a hell of a name, and people loved it. There was, there was a lot of talk afterwards, people saying they really enjoyed that talk and the anyone talk. Now, if you missed it, you missed out on 38 speakers. So these are Deepen experts, KOLs, VCs, and project leaders of multiple Deepen projects talking for over 30 hours of content that took place over three days, all online. It was the largest Deepen online event Ever, and we had over 2,500 people tune in. A whole bunch of people even tuned in. I think it was 70% of people that tuned in hung around for the entire event for over 30 hours. Talk about engagement, ladies and gentlemen. If you were there and you bought a ticket, you can go to revolution.deepenhub.io forward slash login and just log in with the same email you used to get your ticket. You can watch the whole thing with replays. If you missed out, you're a loser. No, just kidding. You can go and you can purchase a ticket at revolution.deepenhub.io. I think they're $197 right now. We're looking at even bundling it together with a cool little addition called the Deepen Due Diligence Framework. And we'll probably offer both together at a discount. So stay tuned and check out the webpage. What is the framework? It's essentially a 50-page guide that comes with a ready-to-use calculator that allows you to quantify Deepen projects to basically assess them on things like risk, team, financial model, traction, hardware, like the list goes on to score them to then decide if you want to get involved as a miner, purchasing the token, et cetera, et cetera. So check that out. Put it to use with the Deepen Revolution event. You have 38 projects and over 30 hours to try it out. By the end of that, you're probably going to be pretty freaking good. You might as well go get a job at BlackRock, bro. Last but not least, the Deepen Hub podcast. In case you were unaware, Deepen Hub has a podcast, comes out every week. It's often regarded as the most well-received and popular podcast in Deepin. We've been doing it now for, I think, over 40 episodes. We've had most of the most well-known founders in Deepin on the podcast. It's hosted by our own Daniel Andrade, CTO and co-founder of Hotspotty. So recently, we had two issues because we actually are doing our newsletter every week now, but before we did it every two weeks. So we had session. So grab it. Peace. Uh, we had the co-founder, Key Jeffries, on there. So you have an over 30-minute deep dive on session. If the article we wrote wasn't enough and you want to go deeper, check out that podcast episode. I believe it was, it was episode 41. And then afterwards, the next week in episode 42, we had one of the co-founders of Anchor. Anchor is a super cool project, uh, building a decentralized infrastructure for basically other Web3 projects. So using the Deepin model to provide access to RPC nodes, basically to build stuff um, and get access to the blockchain using Anchor as the infra provider. So sort of, again, like a little bit of that AWS, but for Web3. So check them out. Um, that was the podcast. It was brought to you by Onacoy, enabling mass adoption of high precision positioning using the blockchain. So think about GPS correction devices and navigation systems. And brought to you by Peak. If you don't know Peak, again, seriously, dude. No, it's fine. But you should because they are the layer one blockchain for Deepin. So thank you to our sponsors. Check out issue 23. That's all for this one. That's a wrap. The week of September 16th through the 22nd. We'll be coming back to you next week with another recap specifically about Singapore where Token 2049 and Solana Breakpoint are both taking place along with F1. So it's been a crazy week over there. We'll be recapping that next week. Until then, deep in revolutionaries, stay decentralized.